practicing skills is essential for data scientists to stay up to date. And the skills data scientists need most are data collection, analysis, and visualization. Don't use them, and you'll be out of form very soon. The best way to keep yourself at the top of your game is to do a data science project. When creating a project, you should start by thinking about the project's goal. It should be something that users would like and that forces you to use modern data science. But most importantly, it should be something that you find exciting and engaging. We all have that folder full of half-finished projects we lost the motivation for. Don't let that folder win today. To make it more interesting, you can even build an interactive model and visualizations. There's no limit here, so get creative and use your imagination. But don't be shy about seeking inspiration from somewhere else. For example, the data is beautiful subreddit. One option is to try and replicate a project entirely. This is a great exercise. Of course, you can always tweak it to your own interests. For example, you can use different data sources, different analysis techniques, or completely change the project's goals. Whatever you do, there are three things to have in mind. Use an API to collect data, take advantage of visualization libraries to create graphics, and finally, post your work to the subreddit to get feedback. Even the best data scientists can benefit from an extra set of eyes on their work. In this project, you'll use the Spotify API to get data about the top 10 most streamed songs. After that, go to the Genius API to join the songs with the lyrics. Now that you have your data, you can start doing some science. There's a lot you could do here. One idea would be to show the historical change in the number of words in the most popular songs. You could even include some other parameters, such as intro or total song length, to predict future music taste. Maybe even write a hit song based on your findings. Another good way for staying up to date is doing a project that has the goal of predicting the profitability of investment properties. There are many rental APIs that you could use to get property and rent data. What do you factor in? It depends on what you want. This is where having a very specific goal in mind can help you narrow down what is and isn't important. Your business decision will likely be linked to the location, property size, build date, rental price trends, amenities, and so on. Of course, not every project has to be about making a profit. You can practice your data science skills and put them towards a good cause at the same time. Social media is brimming with fake news. You could try and help people get credible news from trustworthy sources. Let's say you wanted to focus on the COVID-19 pandemic, USA presidential elections, or the war in Ukraine. Start by fetching your data from the Facebook, Twitter, or Reddit API, for example. Then analyze the geographical distribution of fake news, demographics spreading them, common topics, sources with the most fake news, etc. Once you do that, you can visualize such data. Or go even further and train a model that will recognize fake news. A second project that has more than profit in mind is this one. Why not introduce postage stamps that strive for more equal representation regarding occupation, race, and gender? As always, you should start with the existing data. The Wikipedia API is an excellent source to get, for example, the list of people on postage stamps in the USA, or every country in the world. Analyze the data according to the previously mentioned parameters. To make it more interesting, you could even get data from the World Inequality Database. That way, you could show how the unequal representation on postage stamps correlates with overall income inequality. If you like books, you'll love this project. What if you wanted to predict book sales? Our data source for this project is the Amazon API. Historical sales could be analyzed across genres, publishers, writers, number of pages, price, number of reviews, rating, type of cover, you name it. All this data can help you predict the best parameters if you want to make the next bestseller. I'm in the middle of writing a book of short stories, so I'd appreciate it if you'd let me know your findings. These five projects should only be a start. Use them to stay up to date with data science skills, but also use them as inspiration for your own project ideas. The most important thing is to strike the right balance between practicing your current skills and learning something new. Choose projects that will challenge your data collection, analysis, and visualization skills to stay in top form as a data scientist. Make sure you let us know if you give one of these a try. Or share your own project ideas in the comments so others can try them out. I hope you have fun along the way and create something meaningful.